Hey guys! All right, this is part two of my seed haul. Now, this one is from Baker Creek. Um, I was able to get a discount code, so I got a few things. Um, one of them, if you want to um, go back to part one, if you didn't watch that one yet, go to part one. And I kind of explain what I'm doing this year that's a little bit different. But um, with the Baker Creek, I went ahead and I also picked up um, this... Um, this little planting guide thing. Not sure how well it will work in our area, but I figured I'd give it a try. Um, it's called uh, Clyde's Garden Planter. And one side is for spring, summer, and then fall and winter, or yeah, spring and fall basically. And it slides so you can line up your last frost dates and it'll give you all the information. I um, thought I'd give it a try. Uh, not sure how well it will work. Like I said, with our area, we're just in a different zone. And, you know, we grow more of the tropical fruits that our northern um, people cannot grow unless they have, you know, a greenhouse, specialized stuff. But I thought I'd give it a try, so I did pick that up from Baker Creek. All right, so let's get to the seed haul, and I'm going to show you what I got. You still tired? <laughs> All righty, we're going to start off. I went ahead and I got the Chinese green noodle, which will be new for us. And then I picked up some more of the uh, yard-long green beans that we grow really well here. I got another thing of kale. I picked up some cauliflower and broccoli, and then we got a free, I am not sure, it looks like some type of Swiss chard. I also picked up the Art Combs Ancient Watermelon. We're going to try that, but we, like I said, here we have an issue with boring worms, um, so not sure how it, if we're going to be able to grow that. Went ahead and I got um, Little Gem Lettuce, Bronze Beauty, and Tennis Ball. And then I picked up some more cucumbers. So I got a, a Dar and a Parginian Pickling. And now we have the um, another one of the, uh, the Butternut Squash. Picked up some Seminole Pumpkin. Picked up some St. Valerie or St. Valerie carrots, Cheyenne red root core carrots. Uh, picked up a caramel eggplant and another one of the Oshawa. Also picked up some bok choy. This one's the baby bok choy. This one's regular green bok choy. Got the strawberry spinach. The Giant Noble Spinach and then Boca Boca Spinach. So we'll, we'll try that one. That one's going to be new. This one, I know you can eat the flowers. So um, I mainly picked this one up because I just love the coloring on it. And it would be great in salads. Well, good morning, Cooper. All righty. Here's my tomato collection. We got the Missouri Pink Love Apple. That's going to be a new one for me. Mortgage Lifter and Roma Amish Pace World Famous Briner and then Bonnie Best. I got another um, set of Detroit Dark Red Beets and then for carrots um, we got a Black Nebula and then for radish I got the early uh, Scarlet Globe. And then for my herb garden I got Stevia which we use stevia a lot here. Oregano, I got the banquet dill, thyme. I got the Chinese sweet basil, the leaf basil, and the Genevieve basil. And then I got rosemary. And then the best one I found was this marvelous mint mix. Now, this I'm excited for. I'm literally gonna be taking apart each seed in one by one planting it separate because this is a mix that's supposed to have um, 
all of the different flavors of mint, like chocolate mint, regular mint, spearmint, um, winter mint. Uh, it, it's got them all. Um, so, unfortunately, it won't tell me which seed it is. So, I'm going to literally be planting each seed by itself so I can figure out what type of mint it is when it grows and then be able to keep it. So that's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm actually really excited about this. All right, and here are my flowers for this year. I'm growing both the yellow and the bullseye toothache plant. I'm growing marigolds this year. I haven't grown those before, but I'm going to do some companion planting. I got chamomile, St. John's wort, um, African blue disc daisy, and then this uh, Twila heavenly blue, which I love blue flowers. And I'm not quite sure with this one because I've read some reviews after I bought it because I wanted to, I started Googling it, um, that the, um, the sap on this can irritate your skin so i may have to plant this in areas that we won't frequent and if i do pick it i'm gonna have to wear gloves so you know if you're going to be experimenting on different plants um i would recommend don't do what i do where oh the pretty picture and not read up on it until later <laughs> But this is going to also go in with, um, like this one, um, the the uh, chamomile and St. John's wort will go in with my um, medical herbs that I'll be growing this year along with these two. But flowers are flowers. We want to get the bees and the butterflies in. And lastly, we got Donald's peppers. So we picked them up some Craig's Grande Jalapeno. Uh, the Cayenne Long Thin, the red one. Carolina Reaper. This was a free one, so he's excited about this one. Uh, the Boca Juca Red. Tabasco. I picked that up because I thought that would be a fun one for him. Um, not sure how to pronounce that one, but I'm thinking it's probably in the long, long lanes of that. And then the Seven Pot Chocolate. And then we got some more of the uh, sweet chocolate peppers. All right, guys, that's it for the seed haul. So I hope you enjoyed the part one and part two. And the animal friends that have been roaming. I got Luna in the corner here sleeping a little bit. She's in her bed. <laughs> and I got cement over here looking at me from uh, our shoe rack. <laughs> But, um, yep, that's pretty much it for the entire seed haul process. And like I said earlier in the video, if you didn't catch what was going on uh, with the farm and the homesteading and the little side businesses we're going to try and start out for 2023 here, um, check out part one. It's in the beginning. And let me know what seed haul did you guys do for this year? Where did you get them? What you got? What are you excited about? What do you plan on growing? What do you know that grows? I know it's only January. It's into the new year. And I know everybody starts looking to figure out what you can grow. Just take your time. Um, January and February are normally the coldest months no matter where you're at. So take that time to do your research. Find out your grow zones. Even go to your local university, like um, the University of Florida has county extensions in the state of Florida that are geared towards growing food. They have an agricultural section in each county. So look that up too. Check out your local universities. Um, they have stuff on normally on YouTube. If it's not on YouTube, it'll probably be able to uh, Google it and read their blogs. You know, take that extra steps now to figure out what you want to grow, where you want to grow it, and how. There, You 
have endless possibilities. You don't have to go out and buy stuff that's new. You can do what we do. We use tires. We use scrap wood and make little boxes. We take old, um, uh, what do you call, old water barrels, cut them in half and put some scrap wood around it and we have a raised bed. We have a swing set garden that we grow green beans on, literally a swing set. You could probably pick one up practically free or if you know somebody that doesn't have kids anymore but they got a playhouse in the back, see if they'll give it to you. You know, you, you don't have to worry about spending money when there are free resources out there. You just got to be creative. Look for them. If you're able to buy new, fine, go for it. Have fun. Grow something for your family. Grow something for yourself. Even if it's just a bunch of flowers because you love flowers. If it's something that you want to grow for the bees, do that. If you want to grow something where you can just grow it and just forget it, because a lot of stuff that we grow, we literally grow on neglect. Because we know during the summer, it's hard for us to get outside and spend all day outside when the humidity is 90% humidity and the temperature is 95 degrees with the humidity and makes it almost to 100. We grow stuff that grows on neglect. Just do your research, experiment. Trust me, the last couple of years here, that's all we've been doing is experimenting. You can go through all of our videos. You can just see how much success we've had, how much failures we have. Don't be afraid. Grow something for your family and have fun. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.